the beginning of this year I started rebuilding my Taro 650 Sports uh, Arducopter Pixel build onto this frame which is the Dyer or Dea H4 680. It's a much better frame overall, it did cost me twice as much so I guess that's what you expect. Um, but it's a H style frame as the name implies, so you get a lot more build space in the middle compared to the X of the Taro. And because the arms fold inwards, um, both of them inwards, it produces a much smaller package for travel, even though it's a 680 versus a 650 of the Taro. Um, otherwise, um, a couple of small changes. It now has a AKK VTX with an OSD. I didn't have OSD on the, the 650. Uh, it has the FR Sky R9, full size R9, um, 868 receiver, and it has a little servo dropper at the front just for fun. Uh, it's a bit windy today to be doing a maiden. We've got 15 gusting to about 20, uh, but I want to see if it will get off the ground, so hopefully it will. Um, not going to do any auto tune or anything today because it's too windy. We'll just see if it works, and if not, we'll catch it on camera. And that is why we always record these first flights. The PET G 3D printed parts are not as strong as I thought they'd be. The VTX one has broken at the bottom there, and the GPS stalk has cracked as well. Um, but otherwise, motors all seem to spin smoothly, so that's good enough. Yeah, so. As first crashes go, not too bad. So it turns out the reason for the crash is depressingly simple. Uh, I forgot that on Ardicopter, forward pitch is a negative value rather than a positive value, which is the exact opposite of beta flight, clean flight, um, INAV, whatever else. So when I went and set up a new model in my Tyrannus um, with pitch on, what is it, channel two, if I pull backwards on the stick, pitch goes low. If I push forwards, pitch goes high, which is what we expect from beta flight and, and whatnot. But actually, that's the exact opposite of what Arducopter wants. So looking at the, the log file, you can see that um, this is my pitch stick inputs. And this is me pulling back on the pitch stick to make the, the quad come towards me to go backwards. But what that resulted in is uh, the flight controller doing negative pitch values which are forwards pitch so i was pulling backwards and the quad was going forwards i pulled backwards more to make it stop going forwards more and it just did the exact opposite and made it go forwards more now the uh, the really annoying thing is that if i had been lazy and i had used the same model and just uh updated a few things if i'd used the model from the the tarot it would have been fine because on the tarot I have it set up correctly so pitch there when I pull backwards it's going to go high and when I push forwards it's going to go low so I guess um, the moral of that story is that sometimes it's actually better to be lazy and not do things properly or maybe the actual moral is that if you're going to do things properly do them properly properly and don't skip over bits that you think you know about Oh well, I'll get the uh, 3D printer going and print out some new parts and um, maybe give it another go next weekend.